What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Professor Anime coming back at you with another video. In today's video guys, I am here to bring you all a review of a recent anime OVA that I just watched with a couple of my friends called Cat Soup. Now, Cat Soup is a very weird and disturbing anime OVA. It really is. And it's definitely a OVA that you can't just watch once. You have to watch this anime OVA a couple of times to at least gather your own interpretation of this uh, anime OVA and try to pinpoint what exactly is going down and the whole subject matter that the anime OVA is presenting. Because this anime has no dialogue whatsoever in the 32 minutes of this anime OVA. It really does not. And it's up to you, the viewer, to actually, you know, make sure you are, you know, paying attention to all the themes that is being presented within this anime OVA, or else you're not going to get the entirety of what the story has to offer. And I'm still a little bit confused on what exactly the overall meaning of the anime could possibly be, but I do have a general idea. So to make things a little bit easier for people who have seen this anime uh, and didn't really get a good idea of it or maybe just for newcomers that possibly want to check out this anime OVA series, I'm going to do a little analysis on the beginning portions of this OVA and hopefully this will make a lot more sense for you to follow along that way you can understand some of the other symbolism and metaphors that are going on throughout the rest of the OVA series. So first we're going to do the analysis and then I will give my overall thoughts on the entire series. So without further ado, let's get into it. The beginning portion of this OVA contains a cat named Nyata who ends up coming into the bathroom and starts to play with his toy truck. He ends up falling into the bathtub and can't get out, causing him to drown and momentarily die. Nyata has an older sister named Nyako who has recently fallen ill and then we catch a glimpse of her looking over at a man with a staff who we can presume is death. In the very next scene, we see Nyata getting out of the bathtub, who to our surprise, seems alright. He then rushes to his mother and father to try to communicate with them, but they don't seem to notice. Nyata eventually notices his sister wandering with the man we previously saw in the last scene and chases after them. As Nyata chases after his sister, he comes across some other cats who seem to be having a conversation with one another and he tries to get their attention. While it's doing this, he eventually pulls the plug on one of them and to his surprise, the cat eventually deflates. The viewer at this point can tell that Nyata is no longer in the same world he once was. Nyata eventually catches up to death and his sister and he tells his sister we must go back, but Nyako says I can't as death pulls on her to move forward. Nyata, raged by this, grabs onto his sister and pulls her back to come with him, death doing the same. As they are doing this, we can see memories of Nyako starting to pour out of her and finally she snaps and we see Nyata run off with the other half of his sister's soul, as death now has the other half. Death then announces to Nyata to a place where he could find the other half of his sister's soul, showing the picture of a flower. In the next scene, we see Nyako's and Nyata's father. He eventually sees Nyata in the bathtub and pulls him out of the water, safely reviving him, which confirms that Nyata was momentarily dead. The mother then rushes in the room to tell everyone to check in on Nyako, and we see in the very next scene, a doctor ends up confirming that Nyako has now died. But then we see Nyako go up to his sister and gives her back the other half of her soul, which ends up reviving her, but the other half of her soul is still left missing leaving her brain dead and also giving the viewer the message that Nyako must be experiencing limbo. In other words, Nyako is struggling to survive. The very next day, we see Nyata and Nyako go out to buy groceries for their mother. Whilst on this journey to buy groceries, the OVA then continues with the rough adventure that Nyata faces trying to find the other half of his sister's soul. So hopefully with that little analysis, you can better understand the show for those of you who are maybe considering getting into this OVA series or maybe those who have watched the show and just didn't understand what exactly was going on because I know some of my friends who I ended up watching this with were confused as to what exactly was going on with the entirety of the story. Like they understood some of the symbolism and metaphors that were going on, but in general they didn't understand the whole concept of what this, uh, what sort of subject the anime was trying to uh, 
uh, proceed. Now, when it comes to this anime, this, like I said before, this is a type of show that you are going to need to at least watch a couple of times. You cannot simply just watch this in one sitting and make up your mind and get the entirety of what the show has to offer. Like, you have to actually sit down and watch this a couple of times to actually get the full meaning because this is a anime OVA that deals on some heavy subjects, not just life and death. There are some other dark themes which are shown in this anime as well, such as human cruelty against animals, mutilation, suicide, uh, we see uh, biblical symbolism in this OVA as well. Uh, one of the scenes in this anime we get to see Nyauta and uh, Nyauko on a boat, and this boat represents the Ark, uh, one of the stories in the Bible with the whole flood and everything. Uh, God also plays a role in this anime OVA as well. Time. Uh, time we get to see time moving forwards and backwards and we get to see various things throughout how time has developed throughout human nature uh, you know war has been going on and some other stuff that goes down and you know how you have to picture this uh, picture this anime is that Nyoko and Nyata are humans because if you don't picture the cats as humans in this anime OVA while they are cats in the OVA if you don't picture them as humans, you are probably not going to relate to them on a certain level. Because like all humans, we have done, you know, various sins throughout human nature, and this anime shows how disastrous human nature can actually be. And one fun fact about this anime series, this anime series was actually a comic before it became an anime, like most other anime out there, but the mangaka to this uh, series, Cat Soup, actually ended up committing suicide in 1998, if the date is correct on that, but yeah. But yeah, definitely this anime was very weird, very disturbing, and also very dark as well, and it's definitely not for the faint of heart. But I mean, this anime series is only one episode for 32 minutes. Seriously, go watch it. It is so good. Um, and, you know, I love anime to where you can just sit down and try to think about uh, you know what the message is trying to convey out of this anime to where you know You have to come up with your own interpretation to actually get the full understanding of the series like those types of anime are Completely awesome in my opinion if I were to actually rate this series It would probably be around a six or a seven I know that might seem kind of low, but as I said the story really, you know It's kind of hard to exactly pinpoint what the story is about but that's why you have to come up with your own interpretation of this series and honestly I love the art style as well the art style was pretty cool um, you know it's very abstract and just as to the disturbing scenes that you actually see throughout <laughs> this anime OVA series but yeah I really enjoyed this OVA that about does it for this video guys I really hope you enjoyed my review of cat soup as always, if you like this video, please give it a like, drop a comment down below, and tell me if you have checked out this anime OVA series before and what you thought about it, and if you are also planning to check out the anime OVA as well. Remember, there's only one episode, you gotta see it. And as always, guys, if you want to stay updated to my future content on this channel, please hit that red subscribe button below, and you'll never miss a video from me. That about does it for this video, guys. Love you all, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a great day.